You can't just have a website. It has to be amazing. It has to be firing on all cylinders. I'm gonna teach you how to do exactly that. I'm gonna give you some advice and some tips. After building hundreds of websites, I know a thing or two about what it takes. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. This is all about the brand. Let's go. Website tip number five. Make sure that your message is clear. This is so very important. I've done several videos on elevator speeches, one line, your, your positioning statement, how to build your brand message. If you haven't seen those videos, go and watch them after this one because it's very, very important. What you say is extremely important. Who, what, when, where, why? That needs to be on your website. Those are the basics of communication, right? Who, what, when, where, why, right? Who shot John and why for? <laughs> I'm just kidding, sorry, sorry, that's not a good example. Uh, but what are you trying to communicate to your visitors? What are you trying to get them to do and get them to understand about you? What is the story that you're communicating and that you're telling to your visitors about your brand and how you add value to the world? What sets you apart from everyone else in your industry? So you have to communicate this stuff and your message has to be clear. Use images, use graphics, use graphs and use anything that you can to, to visually tell that message of your brand and your business. Okay, number six, make it mobile responsive. Your website has to be mobile responsive. Let me tell you a story right quick to prove my point. My wife and I took our kids to the Perot Museum in Dallas, Texas, and they on the, on the, floor, on the bottom floor, they have this uh, play area for kids and so we were in there and, and this happens all the time. We were in there, a bunch of kids, you know, running around playing or whatever. I'm watching my kid like, like a hawk. I see you. <laughs> um, but I look, I stop and I look around at all of the other parents and eight out of 10 parents, 80% of those parents was doing this. It was looking down at their phone. They was working. They was sending emails. They're on social media scrolling. They're wasting time looking down at their phones when they need to be present in the moment with their children, watching their kids, make sure they don't get lost or stolen, right? But also just being in the moment. But I began to think about that and say, you know what? We live in such a mobile society today and your website needs to also live in that mobile society, okay? You must have a mobile friendly and mobile responsive website. What mobile responsive means is that your website will respond automatically to any size window or any size device. It looks good on a big computer monitor, desktop. It looks good on a tablet. It looks good on a phone, right? So it responds and you don't have to like pinch and scroll in, like zoom in and zoom out and like do all that. Like those are the old days. If your website is not mobile responses, responsive, you're losing right now. 72% of people are more likely to revisit a website if it's mobile responsive. Did you know that? So if that's the case and your website is not mobile responsive, you're losing. You're missing out on the bulk of the market. That's 72%. You're only reaching 28% of people with your website because these other people are leaving. They're bouncing. They come in and they're leaving. And so you need to have a mobile responsive website immediately, like today, okay? And here's the thing, no bad deed goes unpunished. You will be punished if you do not have a mobile friendly website. You'll be punished by Google and the other search engines because they like your stuff to be modern, updated and mobile friendly, right? And you'll be punished by your customers and consumers because when they come, they're gonna bounce, they're not gonna take action, which means your business isn't gonna grow because you're not gonna be able to capture those people and build relationships. And then number three, you are going to be punished by your pockets because I'm telling you, you're going to have to redesign your entire website, which is going to cost even more money, right? And so you, from the onset, you need to have a mobile responsive website. Think mobile first, right? Think mobile first. All right. So it's very, very important for you to have mobile responsive websites because there is no reason that you shouldn't. There's too many resources out there. Okay. All right. So number seven, I'm gonna give you a little bonus here. I'm gonna give you a little bonus. Make it beautiful very simple make your website beautiful it has to be visually attractive according to adobe 38 percent of people will stop engaging with the website if the layout and content is unattractive did you know that i bet you didn't 
38% of people are not going to engage with their website if it doesn't look good. So, I mean, this is very basics. It has to look good. It has to be very scannable, highly scannable. Remember, 70% uh, percent images and graphics, 30% text, strong calls to action with contrasting colors. All of these things play a big, big part in your website and the effectiveness of your website as it relates to building and growing your brand and business. All right, so let's do a quick recap. Number one, always include contact information. Number two, never have too much text on your website. Remember, 70-30. Number three, uh, have clear, visible, strong calls to actions. Number four, don't put social media icons at the top. Put them joints at the bottom. Number five, have a clear message of what you're trying to communicate. Number six, make sure your website is mobile responsive. I can't say that enough. And the bonus number seven is to make that thing beautiful, okay? I am here to help you. If there's anything at all that I can do, please leave me a comment, send me an email, shoot me a flare in the sky, whatever you need to do to get in contact with me. I'm here to help you. So was this video helpful for you? Was it in inviting? Was it um, valuable? Did you get some information from this video that will help you? Tell me in the comments, tell me what do you need to work on with your website? Leave a comment. Which one of these points do you need to work on today to make your website even more effective? All right, so make sure you leave a comment and be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you wanna learn more about how to grow, create, develop, and improve your personal or professional brand and business. I'm here, the king of branding and design. I'm here for you. And as always, let's make this thing better by going up together.